Now let's continue with another test. In this lesson, I would like to show you a more usable example of how we can actually assert a visibility of any element on the page or your application. So again, we need to start with creating a new test and give it a description. In our case, we can name it assert element. Again, let's create a callback function. And now, again, we need to start with visiting the website. So site.visit. Again, let's take the URL and paste it. And now I'm going to show you a little bit different approach. If we need to grab URL, we can simply call site.url. If you need to grab the title, you do site.title. But when you need to grab an element or selector on the page, we need to call the Cypress function name get. So site.get. And now we need to provide it with the selector. If we go on our website, you can see that we have, for example, this H1 element. So I would like to tell Cypress to load this website and assert this element. So let's go back to editor. And now I am telling to Cypress to get the H1 element. So Cypress will find it, get it and return its value into itself. Now again, we can chain the commands and do something with that selector when we find it. So now I'm going to call again should. And now the assertion can be something like be visible. And as you can see, autocomplete is giving up some tips. So we can save it. And now if we save it and run the tests, you can see we have three tests passed. Now if we click on the detail of the assert element, you can see that we get the h1 element on the page you can also see it's being highlighted on the right side and now you can see we are calling assertion expected h1 to be visible and let me now show you a few examples let's say i will try to get a selector which is not existing on the page for example h5 to my knowledge there is no h5 on that website so let's now run the tests and see what's gonna happen save it go back to our cypress and as you can see the last test is running and we of course get an error and as you can see cypress is getting h5 and is expecting h5 to be visible but there is no h5 on this website so of course we get an assertion error and again we can see that it timed out because it was basically waiting for a second to h5 to appear but h5 never appeared on this website so it throw an assertion error and if we take a look we can see that we try to get h5 and it should be visible but no h5 found so this is a correct catch and for example if you have h5 on your website and some developer will remove it but your cypress test will run and it will get it and it will show this that hey h5 was there but it's no longer there so the test failed and you can then go and tell developers hey i found bug you removed some element which is no longer there again as you can see uh, asserting elements with cypress is very easy let's go back and let's change it back to h5 uh, sorry h1 and also i can show you that you can perform multiple assertion inside a single test it doesn't need to be just one. You can, for example, grab another element on the page, which is the paragraph. And then we can do the same. Should be visible. And now if I save it and run the test, you can see that again, test is green, which is correct. And you can see we have performed two assertions. As you can see, there is assert on h1 which is visible that is correct and it also asserting the ptag which is again correct because both of them are presented in the website so that's it to asserting the elements you can of course do a refer reverse assertion where you can get some element and assert it is not visible on the page 
you know you just don't need to test if it exists you can also do the opposite of the scenario and assert that something is no longer there this is a very common scenario where for example you perform some delete action where you delete something which should no longer be there on the website and after you delete it you will simply perform assertion that something should not be visible but more to that later